boy, do we have fun. We get to do all kinds of neat outdoor things. Wild animals. In Nature Talk, we learn about Cougar, King of the Mountain. Do cougars have houses? In a way they do. A cougar's house is called a den. A den is usually located in rocky areas where there are caves and sheltered ledges to protect cougar cubs. How much do cubs weigh when they're born? When cougar cubs are born, they weigh about one pound. That's about as much as a two-month-old house cat. Cubs are quite helpless at birth. They depend on their mother for food and protection. I have a pet kitten who really likes to explore and play. Are cougar cubs the same? They sure are. Play is an important part of growing up. Exploring is a favorite game. farther and farther away from the den. When do cubs leave their mother? After they are about two years old, when they have learned how to hunt and survive. forces the young cougars to go their own way when they are ready to live on their own. Cougars are solitary animals and need large areas called territories for raising young and hunting. Cougars leave their mother's territory and eventually split up to find their own area. As they travel through the country, scent stations left by other cougars will tell them, don't stop here, this territory is occupied.
They may go over a hundred miles to find a place to call home. Like all wild cats, the mountain lion is a carnivore. That means he eats meat. Carnivore. That's a big word for an important job. Carnivores mostly eat herbivores, meaning animals that eat plants. This helps all animals keep in balance with their food supply. It's nature's way of making sure everyone has enough food to eat. The cougar likes to hunt at dawn or dusk, when other animals are also active. Usually during the warmest hours of a long summer day, the cougar finds a cool, shady spot to rest. If there are no people around to scare the cougar, it will also hunt during the day. It uses its powerful vision, sensitive hearing, and keen sense of smell to find food. Camouflage coloration and large padded paws make it difficult to see or hear the sly cougar. Each cougar toe has a sharp pointed claw, just like a house cat's. A hunt usually starts with stalking. Then, with a short burst of speed, the cougar leaps on the surprised victim, also known as prey. The cougar's strong jaws grip and crush its prey. It can even bite through bones. Except for the rare jaguar, the cougar is the largest wild cat in North America. Is that a deer the cougar caught? Yes, it is. Deer are a favorite food of the cougars, especially in winter. Does and fawns eat and sleep together in groups, called herds. They take turns guarding against danger. The cougar looks for deer that are easy to catch, including the young, the old, and the sick. Male deer, called bucks, often spend time away from the rest of the herd. A buck off by itself is a tempting meal. Hunting and catching deer is not easy because deer also have good eyesight and hearing, plus an excellent sense of smell. The cougar watches the herd. It will try to sneak closer and dash after the deer it has chosen. The deer have ears like radar antenna, always scanning for threatening sounds. If the guard deer detects the cougar, a warning will send the entire herd running to safety. Mule deer have a habit of turning back after a safe distance to look at the source of danger. They're always ready to speed away if the danger still exists. What other animals do you think a cougar would like to eat? Rabbits. That's right. Rabbits usually stay close to a den or burrow where they can escape to safety. If a cougar can surprise a cottontail or jackrabbit, it usually means dinner time. This jackrabbit was unlucky. The cub's mother will have to hunt again soon because growing cubs need a lot of food. Cougars will eat other animals, including mountain sheep, moose, and elk, and small animals like pika, prairie dogs, beaver, and squirrels. What if an animal fights back? Sometimes an animal has a better chance of living if it stands up to a cougar. 
Skunks are brightly colored to warn other animals of their secret weapon, a spray that stinks. The cougar keeps a safe distance from the skunk spray, but not safe enough. It got sprayed and the skunk's perfume will not come off for a long time. This great horned owl injured its wing and can't fly. In times of danger, the owl will spread its wings and puff its feathers out to make itself look much bigger than it really is. The cougar falls for the bluff and leaves the owl alone. This badger is minding his own business. A hunting cougar thinks he has found his next meal. But the badger is a fierce fighter, unafraid of any animal. A thick layer of loose skin, muscle, and fat protects the badger from sharp teeth and claws. This time the badger wins, and the cougar goes away hungry. When it's a hot day, will cougars jump in the water? Cougars need water to drink, but they seldom get more than their toes wet, even on a hot day. Adult cougars don't have many animals as enemies, but they do have enemies. Storms or cold weather can be an enemy if a cougar can't find food or shelter. Injury can be an enemy when it prevents a cougar from catching its food. This cougar has injured her paw. She'll have trouble catching and holding prey until her paw heals. Man is an enemy when he destroys the cougar's wilderness home. Small natural fires sometimes benefit wildlife because they open areas of the forest for new habitat. But if a fire gets too big, it may take many years to provide the cover wild animals prefer. Often, large fires that do a lot of damage are caused by careless people. Cougars have more enemies when they are young. When their mother leaves the den to hunt, exploring cubs are vulnerable to predators like the bobcat. The bobcat is the other wild cat common to cougar country. Like the cougar, the bobcat spends a lot of time hunting. Resting. And grooming. But there is one small difference. Bobcats are born with a stubby tail. The tail looks like it's been shortened or bobbed. 
and that's where the bobcat got its name. What does a 400-pound grizzly bear eat? Just about anything she wants. Grizzlies eat plants and other animals. But smart cougar cubs will stay out of her way. Coyotes are excellent hunters. And the cougar mother must always be on guard against them. There's usually a den full of pups needing to be fed. If a cougar cub happens to explore out in the open, he is vulnerable to an eagle soaring overhead. Eagles can easily see a cougar cub from high in the sky. The rare wolverine is in the same family with the badger. Wolverines are tough and fearless carnivores that can be a danger to cougar cubs. What's that in the tree? Black bear? That's right. Is the black bear dangerous to cougar cubs? Mm, yeah. Right again. The black bear, a smaller cousin of the grizzly, also eats both plants and animals. This curious cub keeps a safe distance from the rattlesnake's deadly poison. If a wild cougar avoids accidents, enemies, and disease, it can live to be 10 years old or more. Are there cougars near Camp Wilderness? Yes, there are. Most cougars live in mountains like those around Camp Wilderness, just about wherever there is habitat, which includes food and cover for hiding there are likely to be cougars. But since cougars generally avoid people, they are rarely seen. What do cougars do in the winter? Like cats and dogs, cougars grow a thicker coat to keep them warm. Some animals, like bears and marmots, can hibernate. That means they sleep all winter, living on stored body fat. But cougars remain active during winter. Most of the animals cougars eat, like bighorn sheep, are also active, so food is usually available. Winter can be a difficult time. Food supplies may run low, and tempers run short. Just getting around takes extra effort. And it's no easier for the skunk. Will there always be cougars? As long as we protect cougars and their wilderness home, they will survive. The cougar will always have enemies, but he will remain king of the mountain.